What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, uh, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your brand, your own, like, like your own mod menu, uh, completely made by you. This is gonna be an episode video. So this is episode one on how to make it. So first, what you're gonna wanna do? Oh my god, I don't know. I have no idea why this keeps popping up. It's so annoying. Uh, first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna open up my. Uh, go to the first link in the description. Uh, you're gonna have to verify. Make sure you click on the monkey because there's so many more reactions and I don't know what to do about it. Uh, so just, just click on this, the monkey. Uh, should be the most verified one. Anyways, uh, you'll get all of this stuff. So I have free code, which we'll get into the at the end of the video. Uh, and yeah, uh, they were taken by Shiva, Nova, Dynamic, Dynamic, and Arctic. Uh, so we're gonna go to templates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna download a template. I am going to go with um, I'm gonna go with uh, Shiva GT's mod menu underscore two. Actually, no, wait, hold up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna go with. Where's it at? The first version. The first version. Here we go. First version, is, in my opinion, is just the easiest one. It's the most normal. I don't, I don't mean like the, the second one's not normal. It's just I'm not so familiar with it. I don't know if there's anything different about it, but I just like the first one. Anyways, so once you download that, you're going to want to... Uh, I'll have a link in the description of a video on how to install DNSpy, or I may make my own, and then I'll, I'll just make... I'll just remake the tutorial, or I'll just re... like, uh, add something else. Anyways, so you're, uh, you're going to want to install DNSpy, and once you do that, um, you, you may have a few... Th you, you may have a few windows. Oh, you're going to have to press File and Close All, but if, uh, there, if, if the option is off and everything's already closed, then you should be good to go. Okay, so first what you're gonna do is op uh, you're gonna go to file, open. You're gonna go to uh, hold on, let me actually uh, let me turn on that real quick. Okay. Anyways, so what you're gonna do is you do not open your menu yet. You're gonna want to go to this PC, local disk. Uh, program files or whatever disk you save all your stuff on, um, and then you're gonna go to uh, program files 86, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Gorilla Tag, Gorilla Tag data, and manage. And then you're gonna take everything from A all the way until Steam VR. Do not take any of the systems, just Steam VR. Now you're gonna open. You're gonna go to the same place. You're gonna wanna go scroll down until oh, you see Unity animation. Do not take. Do not take this. Take you know the animation rigging on it all the way down to WebSocket Sharp. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to press open one more time. And once you've taken all this stuff, you can just go to Gorilla Tag, Bepinex, Core. This is this is like the core uh, of Gorilla Tag. It's just going to help the mod menu load and understand what it's doing. I think I don't really know all the like, techie inside stuff. And then... And then you're going to go back to, uh, once you go to Gorilla Tag, Bepinex, uh, plugins. Now, you're going to have to follow my Monkey Mod Manager video and, uh, and have Utila, I think is what it's called. Uh, and then open Utila. If you don't, uh, I will put a thing up here. Uh, it'll be linked in the how to, in the Monkey Mod Manager video. Um, so yeah. And now this is finally the part where you can grab your menu. So you go to downloads. Uh, we're going to download the first version right here. Um, it's gonna be mod mini fix or whatever one you did, but I really recommend you following what I do because it's gonna be kind of different. Basically, you're gonna go to mod mini fix, mod mini fix, how many patches. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about any of this other stuff until you get like really into making mod menus. Uh, then you're gonna go to G Tag menu. These, uh, I know this may look overwhelming, but every all the processes and slingshot is all of your stuff that you have. Uh, so like you have plain, you can pause the video right now and look at all the stuff that you have. Uh, don't worry about like draw ban or prefix or stuff like that like toggle all the toggles these are just toggle bands these are all just toggles anyways what you're going to do is you're going to make sure you tap on this or no so uh so i'm actually i'm going to show you how to change your name and your color theme and then it's going to be the end of uh video one so first you're going to go to dot cctor you're going to want to scroll down a little bit uh, until line 56 or just look up name you can go you can press on it just like that control f name space and you see this lights up because it, that's what it is and then you're gonna press on uh, you're gonna right click it edit method then you're going to uh, delete all this and you're gonna name it something like uh, shoot fainted uh, fainted test menu how about that and then you can compile it. 
uh, something like if this shows up, these are like warnings. These are, or this is these are errors. These are warnings. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to scroll all the way up until you see, until you see something that says system. Uh, if you do not, then you want to scroll all the way down. Most likely, it's gonna be all this system stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna delete all this stuff real quick, and I will see you in a minute. You can see that I can't scroll down anymore because all the system is gone. So also, if you want to if you want to know how to delete uh, the one thing at a time, it is right click and then press delete. That's how you delete all the systems. So then now you can finally go back uh, all the way up, or you can just use this little scroll bar. I like to use a scroll bar. Uh, go back to void. Go back to line 58, which is right here. Creeper menu. Edit method. Um, boom, F F F A I N T E D uh, apostrophe S T S T menu. Jesus Christ, and it's still doing it. Hold on. There we go. Now that I've deleted that one thing that should have fixed it. Correct? Yes, correct. Okay, so if you delete everything and it still doesn't work, just try to delete everything that just has the word just system in it, and that should work. Um, if it doesn't, then there's something wrong, and you may have to restart dance by. Uh, so, vintage test. I'm just gonna name it V1 because I'm. I mean, I'm never. I'm probably never gonna use this ever again. Okay. So uh, these are. So now you're, after that, you're gonna go to G tag menu. You're gonna press on just a random line. Control F. Uh, so look up color. Uh, theme. And then what you're gonna do is so on color theme. This is color theme is actually your background. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna edit method. And if it and if it isn't. And then if it, if you don't see edit method, then you might have to do edit class, and then you can control F color theme. Now and now that you've edited the class, you can backspace space. Hold up, there you go. Space, enter color dot, and then uh. You can name it. You can do whatever you want. Hold up. I think I did it wrong. Hold on. Oh, I understand what I did. Uh, uppercase C, color, dot, and there we go. Okay. So, uh, just for the sake of this, I'm going to make my the back of my color cyan. So, I just press on it and press enter. So, now, and then after that, do not think you're done. You have to add an end quote like it is right here. This is the button theme. This is unactivated, so like, so you let's go backspace space. Oh, hold up. Back backspace space. Enter uh, color with capital C. Color dot, and then we're just gonna name. We're just gonna make it the black. Whatever. Uh, black. Let's press black. Press enter. Uh, in quotation. Now the button theme activated. Boom. Color dot, and then I'm gonna put this as gray. This may sound like a very weird uh, thing, but it works on one of my private menus that I have. So now that you've changed your colors, um, every uh, you should be able to compile it. And if it says this, then like uh, then you uh, forgot one of your end apostrophes. I only, I only did that to prove that if you don't put your apostrophes, it will not work. So, now that you've gotten everything done, that is going to be in the, the end of episode 1. I hope you all enjoyed, and come back for episode 2, because this is going to be... I'm uploading every single video this week, right now. So, hope you all enjoyed. Peace out, and goodbye.